In this video, I'll be talking about the mole fraction. So, the mole fraction. Well, the mole fraction is considered one of the concentration units, and you could think of it as a percentage of moles with, with respect to the, to the complete mixture. So, the equation for it would be you represent the mole fraction with, with an x, and because this is a percentage of of moles of something with respect to something else, you could uh, you let's call this a the mole percent the mole fraction of a is going to be the number of moles of a over the number of moles of the total mixture. So to think of it better, to understand it better, you could you could say you have a mixture of a plus b plus c. This is your mixture is your total but you only want to know the percentage of A so the mole fraction tells you the percentage of A with respect to the total mixture or it could also be the, the percentage of B with, with respect to the total mixture or the percentage of C or depending on the number of of elements or compounds you have in the mixture so let's Let's do a quick, a quick problem. You have a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen, and it says that you have two moles of nitrogen, six moles, six moles of oxygen, and three moles of hydrogen. And he wants to know the mole fraction, so. Let's x of the hydrogen, the nitrogen, and the oxygen. So we have the moles of each of the compounds of each of the in this case gases in the mixture, but the 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 formula said that it ha it has to be that divided over the total number of moles so you'd have to add all of this up and it would be 11 moles total now let's compute each of the mole fractions so let's start with the nitrogen it would be x, uh, it would be the number of moles of n2 over the number of moles total so 2 moles and 11 moles so x and 2 is 0 0.18 that's the first one then let's do the same for hydrogen and then oxygen so hydrogen would be 3 moles over 11 moles and oxygen would be 6 moles over 11 moles so for hydrogen, I get 0 0.27, and for oxygen, 0 0.54, and those are our results, 0 0.18, 0 0.27, 0 0.54, and it makes sense that, that for oxygen it's higher than for nitrogen and hydrogen, and that for hydrogen it's higher than for nitrogen, because Again, if it's a unit of concentration, the more moles you have of something, so like a six moles of oxygen, the more concentrated it will be. So you could say that the oxygen occupies 54% of the of the total mixture. The hydrogen 27% and the nitrogen 18%. Well, that's it for the mole fraction.